You may be wondering what the best superhero television show is, and it's definitely The Man Without Fear, Daredevil. And I'm not talking about the movie that came out in 2003 with Ben Affleck. Let's find out why Daredevil is the best superhero show out right now. To summarize Daredevil, Daredevil is basically about a man who was blinded as a child and then used his super senses to fight crime, became a superhero. He basically became like a blind ninja. Matt Murdock, lawyer by day, but vigilante by night. With his heightened senses and a burning passion for justice, Daredevil protects Hell's Kitchen. Daredevil is the best superhero television show. Why? Because of four things. Action, cinematography, story, and characters. Let's talk about the action. The fighting is almost dance-like. It's like people are mingling. There's no wasted movements at all whatsoever. This maintains the illusion of realism. Daredevil is also very brutal and bloody. If you're not into that, what are you doing here? Bounce. Most of the punches in the show feel like you're getting hit yourself. You make the face when somebody gets knocked out. Let's talk about the cinematography. The visual elements used to make the show appear dark and gritty with the use of contrast and shadows. Basically, I'm just saying that the show is pretty. It looked good. Like, look at this photo of Wilson Fisk. I would frame that, speaking of pretty, other than myself. The Wonders in Daredevil are gorgeous, also known as the hallway scenes, because they're always fighting in the hallway. I know, beautiful, right? Let's talk about the story. Daredevil is way more grounded and realistic than any other superhero show out there. Especially when compared to shows like The Flash or Arrow. Don't get me wrong, I know I sound like a hater. I love The Flash, no, that's a lie. I could tolerate The Flash. I love Arrow though, but it just seems like the realism is not there. I know it's fake and it's all about superheroes, but I, I wanna pretend that it's real. Though there is some mysticism in Daredevil, but at least it is believable, at least to me. Let's talk about the characters. Everyone in Daredevil feels like a main character. Each character is cared for as if they were a protagonist. Each of the side characters have their own minor arcs like Foggy or Karen, but you just care for it. You just love to see what they do. You just want to see what they do. Sometimes you want to see what they do more than what Daredevil is actually doing. Let's make some comparisons. I would say that DC has a better TV show catalog than Marvel does. But Marvel has the best one. Ha! <laughs> there no. <laughs> no. Excuse me. Let's talk about some of DC's best shows, like Arrow or The Flash. Both Daredevil and The Green Arrow are basically the same people. Just the main difference is Daredevil blind and Oliver Queen throw them arrows. But with similar characters, what really separates the two shows is how Daredevil is consistent on the quality of each season. Whereas Arrow is all over the place. Seasons one and two were amazing. Deathstroke is the man. So, but seasons three through six, trash, garbage. The lackluster villains were not memorable at all and the stakes did not feel high enough. You have failed this city. However, I will give Arrow the benefit of the doubt for having a great seventh and eighth season. Let's compare Daredevil to the trash. Oh, my bad. I mean the Flash. Barry Allen is always getting smoked. Fool me once. There is no real action in the show whatsoever. Once Barry is running, he's out. That's it. It's just a track meet, and I'm tired of seeing running. Barry is the definition of a hit and run. Run. Barry. Run. Either way, <laughs> look, talking about the Flash gets me mad. Either way, in Daredevil, the criminals are evil, but yet relatable. That's the scariest when you nod your head and be like, oh, you got a point. 
but the Flash villains, oh my god, they're just bad. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like Reverse Flash with the... Consider this a parting gift. You know what I'm talking about, the little... But it's just, ah, I don't know, man, nah, it's not for me. Let me summarize everything that I've been trying to say to you. Daredevil is the best. Hands down. The only problem I have with the show is that it left us on a cliffhanger. And sadly, we will not get another season of the dark and gritty Daredevil because Disney Plus has arrived. Though I like it, but it still hurts. But let me give Arrow and The Flash some credit so I don't sound like a hater. They have way better crossovers. Defenders was mediocre. Though it had all the, the street level heroes like Daredevil, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, Iron Fist, it, it was mediocre, lackluster. But the DC ones, they're actually like enjoyable. I like to watch it. Like the, I think it was two crossovers ago, you know, Barry and Oliver switching bodies and like they're living each other's lives, playing like, each other. Nice try. Oh! <laughs> I've been waiting four years for that, man. So it was cute. It was fun. I laughed. I liked it. But either way, more of the story. None of the shows equals to the quality that Daredevil has given us for three seasons. You got Kingpin the first season. You got Punisher and Kingpin, a little bit of both, second season. And then you got Bullseye. Who thought Bullseye would have been cool? I didn't. He throws stuff. It was amazing. He was throwing staplers like the man. Do you agree with me? Comment down below and join the debate. Subscribe while you're at it. I'll take a like too. They're free. Appreciate you. Also, check out my iBlog and my other TV reviews. Link in the description.